big colony of them over here. I've never seen such happy penguins in captivity. And here's the best sign of all that they've got it right. Look at these guys mating here. You're doing the wild thing, you guys. So this is um, a little bit of breeding success happening right here, right now. They've got an excellent breeding record. It's because it's a, it's a perfect um, captive environment that they've created for them. Now the Humboldts, they're from a completely different area. They're not from sub-Antarctic at all. They live in, um, in, in South America, you know, like uh, Chile and Argentina. Can I share this rock? Can I share this rock with you guys? They're very, very inquisitive. They're a smaller, more squat species of penguins. Incredibly good um, hunters under the water. They fly under the water like the other penguin species. Now, penguins are incredible. You know, they're mostly monogamous, which means once they get married, it's forever. And that's a beautiful relationship to have and something that us humans can actually relate to and actually some of us could learn from it too. When I was in with the penguins, I kept forgetting that I was actually in with a bird. Now, here's a bird with modified wings that actually fly under the water and their funny little feet and their funny little actions and, and all of the different species and all over you was an incredible bird experience. But it's like they're not birds, they're just these amazing little animals. Everything about the penguin house stimulates their natural habitat. Little nesting areas in burrows and alcoves, precise temperature control and a refrigerated swimming pool. This is absolutely amazing. Um, I just got taught the technique. You get the little finger around there like that, hold the fish like this. It's very important to get the fish into their mouth and right down so it just slides straight down. Because as you can see, that's a very large food source. Very, very similar to what they'd be eating in the wild. And to take the hard work out of it, point it in the right direction, and it just slides straight down. What's incredible inside these penguins' mouth, inside the beak, is these um, like little teeth that face um, backwards. So as once that fish has started in there, they hook in their hooks, mate, mate, she's going in. Even if the fish is alive, it's going down the gullet. By crikey, these birds are polite. Have a go at them. No squabbling, no pushing, just waiting their turn. How unusual for birds. Hey, what are you up to back there? Got to make sure they all get their fair share of tucker. But if I can't see them, I can't feed them. And just when I'm convinced that the king penguins are the most polite feeding animals anywhere on earth, I've got a naughty little mate behind me with his own mission. Oh, hey, what are you doing, you little devil? Excuse me, what are you up to, you little tacker? Get out here where I can see you. That's better. <laughs> that little bloke came in between me legs. He's going, dunk, 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 peck, peck, peck. Excuse me. <laughs> Here I go for an all-out encounter of a lifetime. I'm going into the water with the penguins with a whole stack of fish. Let's see a penguin feeding frenzy. What an honour. I'm invited to do the show. Can you all hear me clearly out there? Hello and welcome to the Jurong Bird Park. This is the greatest bird park in the world. I'm Steve Irwin, you probably know me as the Crocodile Hunter, and I'm very excited to be giving the, the, uh, the penguin talk today. We have four different penguin species in here. These little ones in front of me right here, these are Humboldts. Now the big ones behind me, these are the Kings. Okay, all the little penguins come with me. Now you can see there's another two species in here. These are the Macaroni Penguins. And this one here is a rock, a rock of a penguin. This is a great display. You can see the action both in and out of the water. Are oh, you getting in the bucket? You want to get in the bucket and get some? They're very, very naughty. Naughty penguins. Oh, whoops. This is the filter system. <laughs> Sorry about that. That wasn't supposed to be a part of the demonstration, but whatever happens, you just go with it. Normally I'm getting attacked by crocodiles. Today, I got attacked by the filter system. But it's okay, I'm just fine. 
Here's the moment I've been waiting for, ever since I clapped eyes on these little tackers. A chance to join them in their own natural environment. This is unbelievable. Me penguins and a bucket of fish, I'm in heaven. Look at them go. Not so competitive on land, but underwater, it's every penguin for himself, just like in the wild. And plenty of tucker to go around. Whew, she's a bit cool in here, but worth every second. Australia Zoo, I'm back in with the crocodiles. 5,000 people in the Crocosseum to see eagles fly here for the very first time. Thank you, thank you, thank you. These blokes are a lot more demanding than penguins, but I love my crocodiles so much. And today is a very special event. A special mate of mine out there in the audience somewhere. This is my pet wedge tail eagle. Have a look at this little bit. Great job, Frank. Soren is perfect. Is she just darling? Crikey. This has been one of the greatest wildlife encounters of my life. The elephants, the penguins, the cheetahs, the everything but the thing I loved the most was being there with our men. I just want to kiss her on the lips and love her and take her home, don't you?